This is an iView presentation. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install GCC. From there, I'll also show you how to install various versions and set up alternatives so that it recognizes, recognizes each version. And then I'll also show you how to select which version. This could be useful for when you're trying to install CUDA for NVIDIA GPUs. I'm not too sure about ATI AMD GPUs, but for NVIDIA, you need to backtrack to GCC 4.6 in order to have the CUDA installed. This would also be useful if you wanna in use an, a, a development environment such as I mean a IDE such as NetBeans. Um, that NetBeans itself would detect the GCC and it will pick up every or the setting and of course that comes back to having the right GCC selected and of course sometimes you want to use older versions to see how it's changed or you want to use the older versions as to because your current educate educational provider uh, uses that version you just want to be um, compatible with what your current provider is using okay so to get going just to let you know this is a full system uh, this ain't no virtual box and yes I have installed it several times to understand how it works and but all, all those times it hasn't crashed my system so I'm going to show you my system so for that I'm going to go over to system info and it, as you can see I'm using Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon 64 bit system and the Cinnamon itself, Cinnamon itself is 2.2.13 the Linux kernel is 3.13.0-24 the processor is an i3-2350M clocked at 2.3 GHz and of course the memory is 9.7 gigabyte the hard drive is 300 gigabyte and the graphic card is a second generation core processor family integrated graphics controller okay and just to let you know this is the main system I'm not using windows on this because I feel that it's very lagging when it comes to certain activities I feel that Linux on this open on this type of laptop and an Intel based laptop is perfect okay so to get going you wanna head over to your Synaptic manage package manager type in your password when it prompted and yep this is the first time I'm using Synaptic on this one uh, so I'm just going to type in GCC as you can see it's got one installed already I'm going to install the 4.6 and as you can see it installs the following including the base so mark I'm going to also install 4.7 again it selects all the dependencies and of course 4.8 and again as you can see it probably has the 4.8 at the latest let's see if it's 4.9 because I did see that somewhere alright so it's already got in 4.9 so 17 is probably using 4.9 mm. in fact let me just deselect the 4.8 because that didn't show up with any of the dependencies and I just want to be sure as well okay that's one option you can also head over to your software manager 
Now I might complain about not having a lock on the uh, Sioux service. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So you should be able to type in GCC. And of course it comes up here, 4.6. Right, so that version doesn't come up on this. Mm. Right, I'm I'm mainly gonna install it from the Synaptics package manager. If you still if you don't have that, say you're using Ubuntu or something, you can just type in sudo at get install synaptic. I'm not sure of the full title. Okay, so once you've you've marked your 4.6 and 4.7, if you're installing CUDA on a NVIDIA GPU for in to use on a NVIDIA GPU to use on a computer that has one, you need to install the 4.6. So yeah, once you've done that and its dependencies are marked, you click apply, apply. And as you can see, it's going to tell you to be installed, and it's going to tell you the unchanged. Of course, the rest of it isn't changed. So you click apply and let it install. Right, so it's successfully applied to all changes. So I'm gonna close this, let it refresh itself, and yes, it's installed. So I'm gonna exit this. Now I'm going to load up my terminal. I'm gonna type in the following command. But you can copy and paste this from the description below. Now all you're doing is updating your alternatives that manages your defaults and that's a backend that manages your defaults and everything. This is the location of where the 4.6 is installed. Don't ask me what the 10 in 10 means, don't ask me what the 20 means for the 4.7. So just click on that, copy and paste. Correct me if I'm wrong. This could be indexing the GCC version. Comment below for correcting me. Uh, to correct me. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for 4.7. Press enter. And yeah. Now, whenever I want to switch between the GCC. Right, let's copy and paste this command into the terminal, and it shows up with all the versions installed. So, say I want to use 4.6, I'll click on one, and then I press enter, and it selects that. So if I was to type that command in again, it comes up and it shows that 4.6 is available directory but that's it for the video um i hope that you find it useful and have a good day